welcome back to Homeschooly HQ. I hope you enjoyed making your own rainbow yesterday. Now today we're going to look at using Lego to do our number bonds with. So for this lesson, you're going to need some Lego, uh, some paper and a pen. You need to make sure you get lots of different Lego pieces, but the essential bit is that they add up to 10. Having a one is really, really handy. And we'll look at that a little bit later on. So as I said, we're going to look at our number bond to 10. Now remember, a number bond to 10 is a pair of numbers, that's two numbers, that when added together, it has the total of 10. So I've just got two pieces here. I've obviously already checked to make sure they do add up to 10. I've got a four and I've got a six. What you can do is get the children to obviously count them. And they, this is why they're great for little fingers. One, two, three, four. And you get them to write them down as your calculation. Add one, two, three, four, five, six equals. And then remember, we can put these together and now we count all the dots together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So four add six equals ten. Remember to emphasize that this equals means that whatever's on this side is the same as what is on this side. Right, let's just do another one. So I've got a two, and on this side I've got a, well let's count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to write my calculation, two, add eight, I'm going to put them together, I'm going to count them again, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and get my calculation written down. Now remember I said that that one piece was really, really helpful. Well, obviously, this is how it works. So I've got a three, so I've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got a three. Now I know that I need a seven, so that's where my one joined together with my other piece is gonna make that number. So again, now the children can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Writing it down. Seven, add one, two, three, right to my three, equals, and then push them all together, and count them off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Now obviously that's just looking at number bonds to ten. You can use Lego in lots of other different ways with addition, just using Lego pieces to add within ten. So here I've got one, two, three, four, again, four, Add one, two, three, four. Put them together, count them all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I can keep doing that with lots and lots of different pieces of Lego and form lots of different calculations. Now, when you, once they've mastered that, you can obviously go past 10. You can get some bigger pieces, put them down. Again, get the counting going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put them together. All right. And obviously we can count again. So as I keep on saying, it's always really important to get the children to count. So with all of these calculations and all using any of this Lego, get the children to count it. Okay, count it out loud. Correct them if they get wrong. Okay, don't worry about that. You've got to get the counting right. All right, and that's what Lego is great for because of the small bits and their little fingers can count them. We've used Lego to do number bonds to 10, uh, adding within 10. I've even got a number bond up to 20 there and I can do adding within 20 as well, quite easily using the same method. There's lots of things you can do with Lego um, within our maths. That's just the start. And we will be looking at lots more over the next coming weeks. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Let me see what you've done. Don't forget to share it on our social media and we'll see you next time at Homeschooling HQ. Thanks for watching. Bye.